when you have a large family, sometimes you have to learn how to stretch your meat or your food for your budget. And one of the ways I do that is by using beans in combination with hamburger. And so today I'm making um, not sloppy joes. It'll be a combination of sloppy joes or a taco, but it's gonna be put on, on top of kale, lettuce, and spinach. So it's gonna be like a taco salad. However, one pound of ground beef does not cut it for seven of us. So I'm going to be making some spicy Mexican lentils that I will be adding to the hamburger to stretch that and make that hamburger last just a little bit longer. Here are my lentils. I just sorted them out, threw in some of my uh, Mexican seasoning with some water, and I'm just going to let this cook. It's not, they don't take that long to cook, so I'm just going to let them cook up right here and then in the meantime I'm going to work on making my um, meat, other meat mixture and then the two of them should be done about the same time and we'll put them all together. I ended up taking the ground beef and I added an onion to it and I had some bok choy that was left in the refrigerator I needed to uh, use so I just chopped that up as these little green chunks are and I'm going to finish making um, the tacos with the seasoning and all that and then I'm going to add some of the cooked lentils to it. I listed these tools on eBay last night and they were all sold this morning when I got up. Uh, this is a tool you hold on to, you put your hand into a tuba bell, you push the dents out from the inside. And this is uh, something that just holds trumpets while you lacquer them. And then we got two dent hammers and they're for getting dents out on uh, little brass instruments. We sold a lot uh, today on eBay. We have a, two rumba belts going to Rochester, New York, and a trumpet lacquering tool going to Glenwood Springs, Colorado, and a dent hammer going to Jamestown, New York, uh, another dent hammer going to Union City, California, and a thing that you get dents out of a tuba with going to Elgin, Illinois. It's a good day on eBay. We've been working really hard lately on picking up our house, getting the first and second floors all neat and in order. Now we're working on the basement. The basement's pretty bad, so we got a lot of work to do down here. We did clean it up a few months ago when we got the furnace, but there's still a lot more left to do. This is what we have going on. We got a big pile of tools, some other tools, uh, and then our work workbench here is terrible. Uh, went, and we're going to sort out the tools right now. I had the kiddos hang up all the hooks uh, on the pegboard, and now Peter is hanging up a few tools. Me too. He's too. having fun sitting on the bench, hanging up some tools. Me too. I'm hanging up tools too. And Charity is clearing off the bench. After almost an hour of work, we've got the bench cle almost cleared off and a whole bunch of tools hanging up there. It's Charity organizing. He's organizing the, uh, the workbench. And there's John. And there's all the stuff. And there's a big pile of junk. Mm -hmm. We're doing some more purging and hanging up, organizing. We're getting a lot of work done. Lots of chunk. And we're getting rid of stuff because I have more than I knew I had. So we can get rid of the extras. And it also looks like the bench is getting better. Yeah, we're, well, we're pulling stuff out, getting rid of what we don't need. Here, Peter, trash. Looks like it's getting organized. Still pretty bad, but it's getting better. I'm gonna make a yogurt smoothie for myself. Yogurt, a couple ice cubes, a few blueberries. I'm gonna add some blueberries, a little bit of milk, not that much, a little bit of vanilla. And I'm gonna smush it up. Ready? Let's see if this works. It should work. Okay, that's done. One cup fruit smoothie. We came upstairs from the basement. It's kind of cold down there. It's probably about, oh, probably 48 to 50 degrees. 
So we came up to thaw out and now we're thawed out. We're going to head back down. We've gotten rid of 102 items today. Things are looking better here. We have a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, paint brushes. Well, you can see what it is. One thing we found down in the basement that we didn't, well, I knew I had it. I just couldn't find it. was my multi-tester. And now the kids are using it to see if the batteries are bad. You got a whole bunch of batteries. And these are the bad ones. There are 11 bad ones so far.